Welcome back to uh, our devotions for Monday, June 29th, First Lutheran, Ohio. Great to be with you. And uh, we're looking at walking the extra mile. Well, certainly today with the heat index near 100, you wouldn't be wanting to walk the extra mile. You probably won't want to walk the first mile, but uh, certainly is hot. But what they're referring to in our devotion is metaphorical, and it's part of the uh, Sermon on the Mount. This is chapter 5 of Matthew, uh, verse 41. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. The Sermon on the Mount is, is a, about... Uh, it starts in chapter 4 and goes into chapter 7. And it's Jesus teaching on how to be a Christian, how to be a follower of Jesus. Now, it's not about how to become a Christian. We don't become Christians. We don't become believers, followers of Jesus by doing something. That's given to us freely through grace, the grace of God in his son, Jesus Christ. But once we realize that God has chosen us to be sons and daughters, once we believe it, once we are filled with the Holy Spirit, then it changes our lives. It changes how we act and even how we think. And that's uh, shown in, uh, in our reading from Matthew. I'm going to go back a little bit to verse 38. You have heard it said, this is Jesus speaking, you have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Jesus turns things around. While we were under the law, it was different. But Jesus came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law for us. In Jesus, the righteousness of the law is taken care of for us. And because of that, we can act differently. And we should act differently. Jesus not only taught that, Jesus lived that. And the most obvious example is his suffering, his passion, and his death on the cross. Whereas he was slapped, he turned the other cheek. Where he was kissed in betrayal, he didn't strike out. And even, even as he was taking his last breath on the cross, he looked at those who jeered at him, those who made fun of him, those who were happy to see his suffering and death. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. A different way of thinking and a different way of acting. What is it in your life that causes you to strike out like a rattlesnake that's had its tail stepped on? To strike back and try to hurt. 
Maybe it's not a what, maybe it's a who. But Jesus said, don't strike out. Reach out and walk the extra mile. Get to know each other. Get to love each other. At the end it says, And for your gospel, let us dare to sacrifice all treasure. Teach us to bear your blessed cross, to find in you all pleasure. Yes, not obeying the law because of the fear of punishment, but obeying the law because it brings joy to our hearts to please our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who died for us. Let us read Luther's evening prayer together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Yes, the evil foe would like to have power over you. He would like for you to be angry at everything. But chill out. Be at peace. Do not fear, for Jesus walks that extra mile with you. Because he loves you, and I love you too.